Are you a freak for pasta, like me? Well, to perfect your pasta, you must avoid the evil threesome. Clumpy, sticky, and mushy. Do not allow them into your pasta pot. I'm gonna show you how. Step one, boil up a big pot of water, about five quarts. Now, once it's at a rolling boil, add some salt, about a tablespoon for a pound of pasta. Now, pasta has no salt, so this really adds a nice little kiss of flavor. Some people pour oil into the water. Who came up with that? Oil and water? Really? Add the pasta. Yeah, American Beauty pasta. Why settle for lesser wheat? Bend it gently with a spoon. And whatever you do, do not break the pasta. It's bad luck. Well, I just made that part up about the bad luck, but still, don't break the pasta. Now, you want the water to get right back to a boil, so put the lid back on. But not all the way. Let the steam escape so it doesn't boil over. Pasta cooks quickly, and you need to stir it about every two minutes. But you can roam around and get all multitasky while it's cooking. Set the table, nuke some veggies, unplug your children from Cyber World. Take a taste about a minute before the package says it's done. Different cuts have different cooking times, so check that out. And keep tasting. I like it al dente, slightly firm. If you leave it on too long, it could get stracotto, overcooked. Repeat after me. No stra. Nostra Cotto. Perfecto. Then get your colander. I use my mother's. Classic drain pasta. And now comes the sauce. Combine the pasta and some of your sauce. Take a good minute or two to lift the pasta with two forks and marry the sauce and pasta. This is a big moment. Two become one. Now remember to save some of the sauce for the table. And if you're adding cheese, do that last and give it another toss. Then prepare yourself for the praise of friends and family because you are serving them perfect pasta and they will love you for it. It pays to eat pasta.